All right, so in this problem, we want to find the slope and the y-intercept of the following function. And in order to do so, we want to place our function into point slope form, which is y equals mx plus c, where m is our slope and c is our y-intercept. All right, now our first step into placing it placing our function into point slope form is moving this y to the left hand side and moving all of the other coefficients and numbers to the left hand and to the right hand side. So when we switch the terms around from one side of the equal sign to the other, we have to switch their signs. So on the left hand side, we are going to have negative 7y equals negative 9x plus 16 minus 5x plus 19. All right, so now we can combine our like terms, and on the right-hand side, our like terms are going to be negative 9x and negative 5x, and we also have positive 16 and positive 19. So on the left-hand side, we still have a negative 7y, and on the right-hand side, we have negative 9x plus negative 5x, which gives us a negative 14x, and 16 plus 19 gives us 35. All right, so on the left-hand side, we have this negative 7y, and we, in order to isolate the y, we want to divide negative 7 on both sides. And now we have y equals negative 14 divided by negative 7, which gives us a positive 2x, because a negative and a negative give us a positive. And we have a positive 35 divided by a negative 7, and that will give us a negative 5. So our slope, our m, is going to be 2 and our y-intercept is going to be negative 5. Now if we take a look at our answers, answer A represents our answer perfectly, and therefore will be our final answer.